Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of morning prayer on Ash Wednesday the 14th of February 2024, the first day of Lent. This broadcast is coming to you from Weymouth in Dorset and my name is John Morrison. I am standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment. Give us life. A song of penitence. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness, according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 38 is, Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Rebuke me not, O Lord, in your anger, neither chasten me in your heavy displeasure, for your arrows have struck, stuck fast in me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your in indignation, there is no peace in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. Their weight is a burden too heavy to bear. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly, utterly bowed down and brought very low. I go about mourning all day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my flesh. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I roar aloud because of the disquiet of my heart. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My head is pounding, my strength has failed me, the light of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions stand apart from my affliction. My neighbours stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. And those who would harm me whisper evil and mutter slander all day long. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. But I am like one who is deaf and hears not, like one that is dumb who does not open his mouth. I have become like one who does not hear, and from whose mouth comes no retort. For in you, Lord, have I put my trust. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, let them not triumph me. Those who exalt over me when my foot slips, make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is ever with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those that are my enemies without any cause are mighty, and those who hate me wrongfully are in many in number. 
Those who repay evil for good are against me because the good is what I seek. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Almighty Lord and Saviour, behold with pity the wounds of your people. Do not forsake us, sinful as we are, but for the sake of the passion of your beloved one, Jesus, come quickly to our aid, for his mercy's sake. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is from Daniel, chapter 9, verses 3 to 6, and then 17 to 19. Then I turned to the Lord God to seek an answer by prayer and supplication, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession, saying, Our Lord, great and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love with those who love you, and keep your commandments. We have sinned and done wrong, acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from our commandments and ordinances. We have not listened to your servants and the prophets who spoke with your name. We, I'm sorry, we have not listened to your servants and prophets who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes and our ancestors and to all the people of the land. Now, therefore, O our God, listen to the prayer of your servant and his supplication to all the people of the land. Now, therefore, O our God, listen to the prayer of your servant. And for your own sake, Lord, let your face shine upon your desolated sanctuary. Incline your ear, O my God, and hear. Open your eyes and look at your, our desolate, desolation and the city that bears your name. We do not present our supplication before you on the ground of our righteousness, but on the ground of your great mercies. O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, listen and act and do not delay. For your own sake, O my God, because your city and your people bear your name. Our canticle is the Song of Manasseh. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful. You relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend my knee, the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Our second reading this morning is from the first letter of Timothy, chapter 6, verses 6 to 19. Of course, there is great gain in godliness combined with contentment, for we brought nothing into the world so that we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with these. But those who want to be rich fall into temptation and are trapped by many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. 
for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. And in their eagerness to be rich, some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pains. But as for you, man of God, shun all this. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and for which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. In the presence of God, who gives life to all things, and of Christ Jesus, who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession, I charge you to keep the commandment without spot or blame until the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he will bring about at the right time. He who is blessed and the blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, it is he alone who has immortality and dwells in an unapproachable light whom no one has ever seen or can see to him be honor and eternal dominion amen as for those who in the present age are rich command them not to be haughty haughty or to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches but rather on god who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment they are to do good to be rich in good works generous and ready to share thus storing up for themselves the treasure of a good foundation for the future so that they may take hold of the life that really is life our responsory to you O lord i lift up my soul O my god in you i trust you are the god of my salvation to you O lord i lift up my soul in you i hope all the day long O my god in you i trust Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be satisfied. Gracious God, we thank you for this day and the many tasks that we are about in your holy name. We pray for the world and its many, many needs. And we pray that in those needs, our church may be a force for good, locally, nationally and internationally, and that we be unified in representing the glorious promise of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray earnestly for those who are preparing through this Lent period for baptism and confirmation. We pray for all those who 
are in positions of leadership, whether it's lay or ordained, whether it's a small matter of leadership or leading the entire church, we pray for all who have responsibilities. And we pray for those, especially during this Lent period, who are looking for forgiveness, for some event of regret that they feel could be obliterated by the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray for all those, including ourselves, who may be misled by false gods, the false gods of this present age. And during this Lent period, we pray especially for those who are hungry, that they may be found food. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Collect of the Day. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our service of morning prayer. Um, at the moment, as we speak, there is a service going on in St. Peter, the 9 a.m. service. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, there'll be a said Eucharist at St. Mildred. 10.45, immediately after the said Eucharist, um, uh, Reverend Perry Butler will be uh, giving us his Wednesday teaching um, at St. Mildred. And God willing, uh, with uh, um, the force of the Holy Spirit and uh, Internet, we will be broadcasting the first of our Lent Reflections live stream this evening. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.